Today we're going to be talking about a simple and lightweight mechanism that makes small blimp envelopes capable of withstanding changes in altitude or temperature or any other change in air density. A while back I made a few videos covering small airship construction and design. The reaction to those old videos was pretty good, and it helped members of the airship community to solve problems that they were dealing with. So we wanted to build on that success by sharing some other things that we've learned. That's why we created Roboloon Labs, as a way to give back to the community, and perhaps help get more projects off the ground. So today we're going to address a big problem in airships, and that is dealing with altitude and temperature changes. In a standard unmodified blimp envelope, if the air density in the surrounding air increases, the gas inside the blimp will compress, and the blimp will lose its shape and become uncontrollable. This can happen if the blimp is going down in altitude, or if the temperature gets colder. On the other hand, if the air density in the surrounding air decreases, the gas inside the blimp will expand, and the blimp will probably burst. This will happen if the blimp goes up in altitude too far, or if the temperature rises too much. One approach to dealing with this problem that we have had success with is what we call the passive ballonet. The purpose of the passive ballonet is to provide a chamber of air that will fill with air if the outside air pressure increases. If the outside air pressure decreases, the chamber of air will empty. The concept is similar to a typical active ballonet like those used on full-size blimps. However, active ballonets rely on electric pumps and control valves to control the volume of the ballonet. That's fine for a big airship, but it's a problem for small airships. All those pumps and control electronics add weight and complexity and power requirements and all sorts of problems. Not to mention they tend to leak in my experience. Instead, the passive ballonet does this naturally by virtue of the way tension and pressure is managed within the envelope. In its simplest form, a passive ballonet is simply an envelope tensioner and a cover. In this example, the envelope tensioner is made of the kind of latex they use in competitive free-flight airplanes. Basically, it's a kind of rubber that applies a very consistent force as it stretches. The purpose of the envelope tensioner is to maintain pressure on the envelope as it shrinks. This works best if the envelope has a straight cylindrical section at the center of lift. Otherwise, the balance of the blimp will change as the pressure changes. Also, you should reinforce the envelope around the tensioner. An easy way to do this is applying a thick layer of airship glue, and perhaps a second layer of envelope material, and that will protect the envelope from cracking and excessive abrasion. Next we have the cover. The simplest and lightest cover is just a skirt of envelope material held tight by elastic bands. Remember that these bands must be able to withstand UV and weathering, because unlike the tensioner, they are exposed. In this case, I'm using polyurethane bands. Also, your electric wiring will need some more give in it than you would normally have, because the length of the airship will change depending on the pressure in the envelope. An easy way to deal with this is to run the wiring under the cover and put a kink in there so it can stretch out when needed. You can also use a rigid cover, effectively converting the airship to a semi-rigid design. It is heavier, but can offer less drag, and it can be a convenient place to put loads like solar cells or batteries. This works particularly well with larger passive ballonets. So what can this do? This pretty small passive ballonet only adds 14 grams to the envelope's weight, but it allows it to withstand a reduction of volume in the envelope of about 11%, which translates to an altitude change of about 1,000 meters or 3,300 feet, or a temperature change of about 55 degrees Fahrenheit, 13 degrees Celsius. This envelope only lifts 72 grams, being able to go up and down 3,300 feet is pretty impressive for such a small blimp. Of course, you could make the ballonet larger by adding additional tensioners, which will increase the ballonet volume and allow you to fly at higher altitudes. There are other benefits to the passive ballonet which are less obvious. 
It changes how you prep your blimp for flight. Normally, you fill your blimp until you reach a certain pressure. Then you have to adjust the buoyancy and balance of the blimp by adding or removing weights from the envelope. Because the amount of lift of your blimp will vary wildly depending on atmospheric conditions, however with a passive ballonet you fill the blimp until a certain amount of lift is reached, and then the pressure just kind of takes care of itself. Also, the convenience of taking a blimp from inside to outside and back again without the need to change anything is really nice. Well, that's about it. Please let me know if this is helpful, and uh, I will see you next time.